is my clean title 2003 Mercedes SL500. I now have a C55 AMG motor installed in it. What had happened was uh, I found it online on Facebook. I think it was $2,500 on Facebook. Uh, I messaged a guy a couple times and uh, I never heard back from a couple weeks later out of the blue he got a hold of me. So I arranged to meet him up and meet him up at his house and uh, brought a trailer there over to Bradenton where he lived. I live in Coco. So uh, I get over there, the car won't run. So you know, we had to winch it on there. I offered him 2000 He had other projects going on, so he took it. Um, it did not look like this when I bought it. The hood was missing, all the front end pieces were missing, and had a new radiator. But uh, I was told it hit a telephone pole. It actually hit a telephone pole guy wire. And uh, I mean, it was, it didn't run when I got it, but when I got home with the trailer, I had. Uh, uh, poured some fuel in the map sensor away from the actual sensor and uh, so it started up it's like well I'll drive it off the trailer drive it up on ramp so I can put in a new fuel pump and uh, I put in a, in a map sensor I then put in uh, plastic vacuum lines and used carb cleaner and sprayed carb cleaner in the map sensor and I was able to back it up. As I went to line up the ramps, the SL just kept running. I mean, the fuel pump started working on its own so I didn't need to replace the fuel pump. I have a whole lot more uh, videos coming on this, the actual repairs. The, as far as the parts go, the major parts I had to buy, I found a guy in Winter Park, Florida that parts out SLs. I got the hood. I didn't have to repaint that for $450. Uh, he already had the new radiator. I had to buy a AC condenser. I had to buy the grill, but other major parts were the bumper. I paid $450 for the whole outer bumper cover with fog lights. The Winter Park uh, guy, I bought the whole inner fan, inner uh, core support, the panels on top, and the inner bumper with horns, uh, hood locks, everything else. That was like 150. I'll have a breakdown of parts in a future video, but including the C55 engine that I paid 350 bucks that you pulled, I pulled the the VIN off the VIN history found out the motor had 102,000 miles uh, two years before. So for four, Florida, that's low mileage, believe me. I had just put the front end back together. I was taking the bumper off to repaint it the next day, and that's when that engine showed up. So I ran down to LKQ in Tampa, beat first in line to get the engine. Open up the hood here. And uh, as I was pulling the engine, two people showed up wanting to buy the engine. One guy's, I'll give you a hundred bucks right now. It's like <laughs> I drove from I drove from Coco. I'm not going to take a hundred bucks for a for an engine that I want. Now it's missing a star. I have a. W221 trunk starter to go in here. I didn't put it on this morning. This is a air cleaner out of like a 99-2002 E or S55 AMG. The engine's out of a 2005 C55 AMG. It has an oil cooler here on that one. My old SL motor dent. I sold the old SL motor 
for 700 bucks, so I recovered a lot of money out of that. The total of this car is going to be 3500 clean title. Yeah, I had to, I, it had the radiator. I needed the fan, uh, this upper core supporter panel, this panel, the whole inner bumper, the, the frame rails were straight on both sides. The core support was bent in where it hit the, I don't know if you can see it, there's a chunk out of the edge of the frame right there. There's a little loop out of the frame where the cable, it just caved, it literally cut into the front end right there. But like this motor is 60 more horsepower, bolt in. I was having to take off and realign the whole front end and paint the bumper again. So it's like, it was easy for me to take everything back off. I didn't have the AC to condenser in. Pulling the motor was fairly straightforward. Luckily, this engine has all the mounting holes for the, all the hydraulics. This has a problematic uh, ABC suspension and power steering. It's in one pump. It has hydraulic struts. It'll, I'll cut in the, the car going up and down right here. I really like this motor now. It, it really woke it up. But the air tubes here, I can almost put my hand around it in this really thin spot. So I have to get probably take a black three and a half or four inch pipes, a black flexible pipe, aluminum pipe, and put it in there. These are way too small. These are oval instead of round going from the radiator to the air filter. The air filter is much bigger. It's like an inch and a half wider and slightly, inch and a half longer and slightly wider. On each side, there's two of them inside of there. Yeah. I have a video of prepping the engine, like doing the 16 iridium spark plugs, rear main seal, uh, corrosion of the magnesium in the valve covers and the intake vent holds a problem on these Mercedes. $105,000. Over there I have an armrest I got out of the junk, uh, SL500 that uh, Colpart got, LKQ got Colpart, got scammed at Colpart on a stripped uh, SL, it didn't look stripped. I also have to put that clip back into that corner and back of the mirror there. And on the edge, a lot of this, a lot of the, a lot of the edges here have to be folded over and re-glued. The glue starts coming off around the edge and the, the, where the material wraps around, I have to re-glue it. But like this, this seat, I already have a really soft one. These, these are fairly hard. I'll, I already Lexaled that one. Uh, what else? Oh, I should not grab the, the floor mats out of my 380 SL. That's another project coming. I'm putting a 500. SEL engine I found to replace the 155 horsepower. I still have the plastic film on the new cheap as $150 Android head unit and amp that replaced all the another problematic uh, the fiber optics run through the airbags, the instrument cluster, teleaid, which is like GM's version of uh, GM's version of uh, OnStar. You get an accident, it calls 911 for you. It's all connected together with fiber optics. And if one 
piece goes down, it shuts down the whole thing. I got tired of dealing with it, so I just made a video of me installing a $150 cheap ass Android head unit and amplifier, 2 ohm amplifier that works with this, the factory Bose 2 ohm speakers in this. And I've never seen this before, but I actually found that cup holder that goes into a hole in the seat is made for it. They only made the hole in the seat for like a year or two, 2003, 2004. But this cup holder right here is nice. It's not like these ones right here that I'm, I'll probably never use them. It's they're still operational. It should work. I'm not gonna even deal with these because it's it'd be. You could be dripping everything getting on the screen. Um, when I get the glass uh, protector for the screen, I'll peel off this, put on the glass protector. It's coming from China. I couldn't find the right size. Yeah, I got that cup holder for five bucks, and them things are hard to find. Um, AC's working nice. It has a panoramic roof. It's a hard top convertible, folds in the trunk, but it has a glass panoramic roof on top of that. But that's basically the SL500, C55, AMG motor, a bunch of seagulls getting noisy as all hell out there, sailboat cruising past. There. Now, when that ABC fails, any major part of it, I'm just gonna take it all out, put coil overs and sway front and rear sway bars on. I don't want to deal with with that anymore. When I got the motor, I got the power steering pump, so that'll swap in here, and the hydraulic and power steering pump will come out. There isn't really anything under here. He had a new battery in it, in the trunk. And there's the second battery. This is a starting battery over here. It's a smaller battery. But the paint matches good. I can't find where I put the new fog lights. I already sold the old ones. Even the, I bought the paint and repainted that. I got I have like the bumper when I prep the bumper and paint it, painted it. But the actual color, color match on the hood looks good. I wanted a nice hood and I didn't want to paint it myself. Because when you're in the car, you see any dents or defects. You're, when you're sitting in the car looking down the hood, you'll see it every time. But, sweet car, 3,500 bucks. I'm happy as all hell.